My client today is deaf and mute. This was my first time cutting a deaf person. It was very interesting. The way we had to communicate, I pretty much was typing things out to him. Um, as you can see, this was our line of communication. I was pretty much just typing things. He could read my lips in certain situations, but in other ones, like later in the video that you guys will see, he didn't really understand what I was saying. He basically came in, showed me a picture. Pretty much what he wants is a high fade, high-ish, mid fade kind of in between like a high fade mid fade and he wanted his beard pointy so that's why i asked him like do you want your beard pointy like the picture so i got my wall magic clips we're doing the same fade process that we always do this is not a tutorial i hate tutorials if you guys want to learn how to cut hair you can go on someone else's channel you know i got plenty of videos that teach you how to fade i'm here to entertain you guys and to educate just a little bit to do the fade in the back, same steps. I kind of dropped the fades in the back. Um, I thought he was Dominican at first. I thought he was Dominican, Brazilian. I actually forgot what he said. I, I literally forget, but I know he wasn't of Hispanic descent. I thought he was Dominican at first. Um, but yeah, haircut came out clean. Super, super clean. Make sure you guys tap that subscribe button and put the notification bell so that when I upload more videos like this, you guys are the first to be notified. This also puts me more into YouTube's algorithm so more people can see my content. So for this, he does have a scar on this side. We're not gonna let that affect the fade at all. Basically just act like it's not there. Um, same steps on this side. The picture he showed me, the length pretty much looked the same, but I decided to just trim it it looked like he didn't get a haircut in like maybe three, four weeks, maybe. So we're gonna do a four against the grain on top. I got my lever open with my JRL clippers and I'm going up a full inch. For those asking, you know, does it matter what clippers I use? I use different clippers depending on the situation. Honestly, depending on how I'm feeling that day too, you know? Um, now my wall magic clips are my most zero gap clippers. I didn't even zero grab them, they just came super close and they, the blade for some reason just is able to shred through guidelines. So that's why I'm using it right now. Now we're just gonna detail the fade all around. Before you move on to the shape up, you wanna make sure the fade's set in stone and it's blurry. You know, of course you could detail after the fact, but I just like to detail it before. Now we're gonna cut down the top with our foreguard. This isn't gonna cut much, just a slight trim. And I'm going with the green with the two to kind of lay everything down. Now for the lineup, we're gonna prep it with the one and a half guard going with the green. We're gonna spray some liquid razor to lock his hair in place. And now we're gonna start on the shape up. I got my Babilis Gold FX Clippers. And I'm starting in the middle. He does kind of have a U-shaped hairline, a horseshoe hairline. Nothing too dramatic, but um, we are gonna enhance it. Uh, picture he showed me it clearly had enhancements so i didn't even ask i just knew the pic he showed had enhancements wish i could show it on the screen but we're making sure to shape up sharp without enhancements first um without pushing it back too much every haircut is a pushback but you don't want to push it back you know over dramatically over aggressively so i like to detail my phase before we add enhancements um that way, the, that way the haircut's pretty much done after the fact, you know? We are gonna do his beard. And I like to go lightly with the enhancements. I use Tomb 45 enhancements. If you guys want the same enhancement color, use my promo code, the fourth Ken, and just buy it off their website. Everything is linked down below. For his mustache, we're gonna shape it up. I took it down with the one guard at first and I'm using my saber trimmers. These are kind of not zero gap, so I can kind of be a little bit more rough with these. Can kind of press down. And I didn't want to push, push his mustache down too much. Um, right now we're just straightening out the hairline. And the beard, he wanted it pushed down to make it pointy. So if you guys peep the notes that I was communicating with him in the beginning, I said, do you want your beard pointy like that? He said, yes. So we are gonna enhance it. Um, just the main part of his beard where the shape up is. We're shaping up the back of it. 
And my dude was smooth. I wish I would have showed his outfit after. He had a turtleneck. He was smooth, man. Smooth dude. Smooth dude. This is my first time ever cutting a, a deaf and mute person. Very interesting experience. I loved it though. Doing the other side of his beard, being careful not to cut his ear. Look at him, he fresh. He got the earrings, he got the turtleneck, all that. Let's get it. Same thing with the beard on his side. Being gentle, you know, the face is one of the most sensitive areas, the cheek, especially depending on the person's jaw structure. It can be very, very sensitive. Gonna enhance it a little bit, nothing too crazy. Never enhance a beard too, too much. Shout out Easy Blade, use my promo code. It's on the screen for a 10% discount. A lot of you guys have been asking what razor I use. I use those razors and the blade. Apologies for the angle right here. Um, wasn't able to get the bottom of the beard uh, on video, but he said he basically wanted it shaped a bit more. So I went ahead and shaped his beard, kind of like in a pointed shape. Gonna free and trim the top. Foam wasn't necessary on this cut because he already had that shine. We're just gonna add a little bit of oil sheen to give him that nice crispy shine. And then he went ahead and said he wanted the uh, middle part, near, like his soul patch. And we just couldn't communicate correctly, so he had to put his earpiece on. And then I had to type it to him. So he basically was saying he wanted his soul patch lined up just a little bit not too, too sharp. So I went ahead and took care of that. Dope dude though, dope experience. I love being a barber, you know, running into different um, people of all walks of life. Definitely interesting, interesting experiences. So I'm just shaping up the inside of like that area, making sure not to cut his lip. You wanna be real careful around that area. Same thing on the mustache. Gonna use the blade right there a little bit. This is the before, this is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at the fourth Ken. It's four, I'm out, peace.